All right, uh, we're with Gauteng MEC Lebogang Maile, responsible for municipalities. We've been talking about things like the Auditor General's a damning report about the financial state of municipalities across South Africa. So, MEC, let's start there. I mean, what happens to Tuane, which, which came out as one of the worst in terms of irregular expenditure, um, their possible huge waste, possible corruption? Uh, we have written to all the municipalities uh, that have uh, um, audit findings. Uh, Tswane is not the only one, although it's the worst. Um, in all the municipalities except uh, one, there has been uh, an audit, exp I mean, an opinion expressed by the Auditor General. So there is no big or small um, issue for us. As long as the Auditor General has expressed an opinion, we are concerned and we want explanation from the municipalities. We want to know what plans are they going to put in place to resolve and uh, respond mm -hmm. um, th to those issues that the Auditor General uh, is raising. Auditor General is a very important um, uh, institution uh, uh, of, 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 of our democracy. Uh, th uh, their role is uh, captured in the uh, constitution, uh, any finding by the Auditor General can be taken light. It is uh, in that context that we have written to all municipalities, including the city of Swani. Yeah. In the next coming few weeks, um, we will be meeting with all the municipalities and we will be going through all the issues um, that have been raised by the Auditor General, after which we will make uh, an announcement on what steps uh, to take uh, in dealing with those issues. If you are supporting the municipalities, surely there needs to be a diagnosis of the problem because this is so widespread. Um, I've been trying to get a, a handle on it. We've been reporting on this extensively. Is it uh, carder deployment? Uh, some people say yes, some <laughs> people say no. Is it a lack of skills? Better pay in the private sector? Um, a culture of, of non-compliance? Do you have any ideas? What, what's the big problem here? Uh, and how do you go about addressing uh, it? You are asking a, a very important question. Uh, <clears throat> the first thing is that if you look at the housing municipalities for the last three years, we have never had a disclaimer, we have never had a qualification, so all of them uh, have unqualified audits. Uh, in accounting uh, standards, uh, it's, it's, it's good, but it doesn't mean there is no problem. So. I will not say there is an uh, adverse shortage of skills. only 18 uh, municipalities in the whole country received a clean audit. Are we not playing with technicalities? No, no, no we're not. The big thing is whether they were clean or not no, clean. No, no, we're not. Uh, that is why I started by explaining that uh, if a municipality or any institution receives an unqual unqualified audit, it means uh, they are fine, uh, it means there is no crisis. But once they receive a qualified audit or a disclaimer. So all I'm saying is that in Gauteng, we don't have a qualification, we don't have a disclaimer. It doesn't mean that there is no problems yeah. and hence we're going to meet with them. Of course, we want them to get clean audits. That's the ultimate. But um, um, <coughs> it's, um, 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 it's, it's, it's better because we don't have uh, ad adverse findings um, and we will be working with the municipalities to ensure that uh, we c they all get uh, a clean audits because there's still irregular expenditure, there's still unauthorized expenditure. And in fact, in most cases, uh, if there's irregular, it doesn't necessarily mean that money was stolen. Uh, it might simply mean that somebody, for instance, bought, uh, let's say, um, let's say they paid ESCOM uh, for electricity, uh, but proper process was not followed. That's not good enough because people uh, must respect uh, public uh, resources. Every uh, expenditure by municipalities or by any government department must follow the normal yeah. processes. So we would want answers. Why do we have an irregular expenditure? Why do we have an under, unauthorized expenditure? In 20, uh, they, there's a wasteful, I think, and fruitless expenditure. That's very serious. Um, what happened? Um, <coughs> uh, who is responsible? 
who, who took that decision? What action has the municipality taken? We would want to know with all the municipalities. Yeah. So we're not going to spare anyone. Whether it's ANC-led or DA-led municipality, all we want is accountability. All we want is transparency. What we want is uh, uh, a people respecting uh, public resources. And, and what you're talking about is a, a great system where the province oversees the, the provincial municipalities. And national overseas provinces. And national overseas provincial. But it, has there been no oversight in the past? Because you, you, you're you saying these wonderful things. Mm. How do we get to a situation uh, like Infoleni, when a municipality goes bankrupt, mm. when before anything is done about it, sewage starts spilling mm. into the Vol River, mm. when there's a blame game for months after that, if there was proper oversight at all, how would that ever have been possible? Yeah, maybe uh, there's no proper oversight, maybe. Um, or maybe. Are you saying you're trying to introduce that? Uh, no, 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 no. It has always been there. But as you say, maybe it was not sufficient or robust enough. And that's why we must uh, learn from uh, the previous mistakes. Um, <coughs> we will never have a perf perfect system. And uh, what we are doing now is to uh, try and improve with every audit, is to try and improve... Uh, every year and make sure that we sharpen um, the uh, checks and balances uh, that are there. Um, I agree with you that uh, it's not uh, acceptable 25 years in democracy that we're still uh, dealing with these issues. Uh, I think uh, the, the, the patience of the public uh, is waning out if uh, the public is not, has not had uh, enough already and therefore we have no choice. Those of us who are entrusted with the responsibility uh, to ensure good governance, uh, we have no choice. Uh, we have to make sure that uh, things work. We have to make sure that we deliver services to our people. And as uh, we deliver those services, we should also um, respect uh, processes. We should respect the law. We should uh, respect uh, public resources. Let, let's go to Alexandra. So, so we've got five more minutes. This was a big issue. Mm. Um, there, there's this Alexandra renewal project. We heard mm. years ago that billions would be spent, uh, but recently <coughs> journalists went and saw for themselves uh, the, the sewage running in the streets, mm. uh, the, the lack of service delivery, the open cables. Uh, we had those huge demonstrations. Then we go to May. The, the Red Ants moved in, and, and there were these demolitions, uh, people on occupying land illegally mm. uh, but a big debate over how that was handled many saying a, a sort of apartheid era um a ruthless mm. demolitions what's your view on what happened there and i mean the, the red ants tonight still is their role still being debated okay two two issues the first one alexander renewal yeah. project Let, let's that park was, that okay. I, i'm going to ask you a lot about because i know you've okay. released the figures but the demolitions and and the way the city handled that yeah the demolitions were um, carried out by the city because they had the uh, court order. So it was the city. Uh, at first, the mayor said uh, he was not aware uh, of uh, the demolitions. He came back later to say he was uh, um, made aware that the decision was taken without his consultation. And he apologized and he promised that they will rebuild uh, those houses. So we hope the mayor will... Um, um, uh, 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 what is it? Um, follow through. Uh, follow through uh, to yeah. that. So, but what, what, uh, what the logic of rebuilding houses on illegal land that, that uh, shouldn't have houses built on uh, in the first place? I, I could ask the same question. Uh, why? Why? Why will the mayor do that? But uh, without politicking, I mean, uh, uh, it, it seems the mayor has uh, um, had pressure from their coalition partner, uh, which is the EFF. And that's why the uh, mayor decided that they will rebuild the houses. And I'm not sure where will the mayor get the money to rebuild the houses, because we gave them money to build houses. They have not spent the money. Uh, we wrote them a letter last week um, asking them to explain uh, why should we give them more money if they can't spend what they have. I mean, the mayor has spent, what, 28% 
of uh, close to 200 million that we gave him to build houses. We've got another 230 million that we're supposed to give to them. And uh, we are not yeah. going to give them that money if they can't prove that they will be able to spend what they have. Can, can I pick up on something here? The relationship between the province and the city of Johannesburg. Um, you, you wrote a, a, a statement, well, your department released a statement afterwards uh, talking about the Alexandra Renewal Project, mm -hmm. what has been done. In that, the, the words that were used, uh, you said that there's the statement of intent, it should have been uh, driven by the city of Johannesburg, but they have failed dismally to do so because they do not care about the people of Alexandra. So your department is saying the city of Joburg doesn't care about the people of Alexandra. That's a very strong statement. My question is, if the relationship is this bad, um, what people do, what hopes do the people of Alexandra have for, for real service delivery if the province and, and the city are going to be at huge odds? For our part, we are definitely going to do what we're supposed to do, which is uh, building houses, and we will build houses. We will uh, revive the Alex Renewal project, um, and we will. The city, unfortunately, uh, has no has no choice but to work with us. Um, the The constitution um, forces uh, both of us to work together. Yeah. And, and you've got different and, and, parties and, uh, involved. Will you be yes. able to put that aside? No, we will. We will because we'll use the law. So they have no choice. We will grab them kicking and screaming and they will do what the law expects them to do, which is to save us and serve the people of Alex. So the mayor has no choice. Uh, I mean, I know that uh, from time to time he will uh, accuse the previous administration. It's fine. He can do that. He will talk about corruption and not still true. sounds very bad. No, it is bad uh, because of uh, his won't attitude. That, won't that affect service delivery? No, it won't. Ground, it won't. We will definitely, like I'm saying, we will use uh, uh, all avenues available at our disposal. If it means we must take them to court so that they must do what they're expected to do, we will do that. If it means we must uh, put them under administration uh, for not doing what they're expected to do, we will do that. But that will be the last resort. What we want from the mayor and the city of Johannesburg is to work with us to ensure that we deliver services. We don't have a luxury of uh, choosing what to do yeah. and uh, what not to do. And this is the message we um, we communicating to the mayor. We have extended an olive branch on several occasions, but every time the mayor would want to communicate with us through the media. The media. For instance, uh, I wrote a, a letter to the mayor asking him why is he not spending money. He says no. He explains they've spent 28 percent. He's asking for a meeting. I'm saying no problem. We'll have a meeting. He's saying can the premier chair that meeting? I say no. The premier can't chair the meeting. The meeting will be chaired by me. I'm responsible for human settlement. I'm responsible for corporate governance. So we are going to work together. We don't have to like each other. We are not friends. We are here to deliver services to the people. And that's all we want. I don't want to be liked by the mayor of yeah. Johannesburg. Neither, do, uh, neither am I forced uh, to like him. But one thing we have uh, in common is to serve the people and we both don't have a, a privilege or a luxury of choosing whether we'll work together or not because we are definitely going to work together is, because is people service want delivery. services yeah. exactly okay thank you mec so, thank you so very you're much. saying those services will be delivered uh, either way and a lot of strong commitments uh, tonight that was the Khating mec for human settlements